bleeding after sex is one of the most common search terms people use on my channel and the video they're looking for is a few years old now so it's definitely time we looked at the subject with fresh eyes Hi, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a consultant in general practice. Welcome to Ask Away Health. Here, we share health information that's not only relevant but relatable. Bleeding after sex or post-coital bleeding, as it's also known, is a fairly common condition. Studies suggest that the frequency with which it happens is around 9%, which means that nearly 1 in every 10 women have experienced this problem. The most significant medical condition that is associated with bleeding after sex is cervical cancer, but it could also be related to womb and vaginal cancer. If you have bleeding after sex, there are just a few times where you might not really be too concerned about it. The first is if it happens during your period, so you have sex during your period or just as your period is finishing. In addition, there is no pain or any other symptom when you notice that bleeding after sex. In this case, most likely it is bleeding from your period. The next occasion, mm, I think it's a little bit tricky. Maybe you've only recently had a routine pelvic assessment, a smear and sexual screen within the last one or two days before this bleeding after sex happens. Your assessment was normal, your cervical screen and sexual screen are normal and that bleeding you experienced wasn't particularly heavy, it was quite light. Even at that, I would still recommend you go back to see your doctor. If the bleeding keeps happening after sex, no matter how light, to be sure nothing was missed during your recent assessments. And the third time when, if you have bleeding after sex, and it may not be anything to worry about is if it was the very first time you ever had intercourse and it's a slight amount of bleeding which might be as a result of the hymen breaking and unless you have severe pain or the sexual activity was extremely rough you can probably relax and keep an eye on this unless it's happening again because if it was the hymen breaking it shouldn't happen again the next time you have sex therefore in any other instance you should always have this condition checked out because that's really the only way we can check and confirm that it's nothing to do with cancer. So today I want us to look at possible treatments if you have bleeding after sex. There is more than one treatment, in other words there is no one single treatment because there are potentially different causes for a woman to experience bleeding after sex. So in no particular order, let's just begin. The first treatment is antibiotics. These are medicines used for treating infection with bacterial germs. It is an appropriate treatment if the bleeding after sex you're experiencing is caused by an infection. And by the way, infections are a frequent cause of postcoital bleeding. This might be sexually transmitted infections, which are more common, or an infection within your genital tract that is not transmitted sexually. Common causes of sexual infections are chlamydia, gonorrhea, trachomoniasis, and these could result in changes in your tissue that means that there is bleeding when you have sex. Antibiotics are taken for the duration needed to clear the infection. Once fully treated, the symptom of bleeding after sex should settle. For some infections like chlamydia, it may be a single dose of antibiotics. In others, you might need a longer course of treatment to clear the infection. In some cases, if the sexually transmitted infection is not treated early enough or not properly treated, it might progress to something called a PID or pelvic inflammatory disease in which you require further courses of antibiotics or hospitalization for intravenous antibiotics. If you're diagnosed with one sexually transmitted infection, you may need further tests or a full screen to check that you don't have other STIs. And because this infection is being transmitted between sexual partners, you might be invited to attend a sexual health clinic so they can trace anonymously any recent partners and so they can also get treated. The next treatment for bleeding after sex is vaginal lubricants and moisturizers. Yeah. That sounds strange, doesn't it? Well, it shouldn't because another cause of bleeding after sex is vaginal dryness. Before you click off the video, this is not just a problem of menopause. Many younger women can experience vaginal dryness from different causes. It might be that you're not adequately aroused or there isn't much foreplay before sex, so you're not well lubricated. It might have something to do with medication that you're taking, for example, your hormonal contraceptive, an antidepressant that you're taking, antihistamines that people use for hay fever and allergies. Being pregnant or even breastfeeding can sometimes be associated with vaginal dryness. So with vaginal dryness, once you've been checked out by the doctor and, and they've looked to exclude any other cause, vaginal dryness is often treated with a vaginal moisturizer or lubricant. You can watch my very detailed explainer video here where I talk about the two different types and how they work. For women who are near or in the menopause, vaginal estrogen as part of hormone replacement therapy 
is also an option. And number three treatment is to stop any potential irritants. Okay, so this particular treatment option applies to a woman who suffers from certain skin conditions that are triggered by personal care products or clothing material that they are sensitive to lying very close to their vulva and the rest of the genital area. Examples are women with conditions like eczema, contact dermatitis, psoriasis, lichen sclerosis, and so on. They are chronic skin conditions that are often linked with dryness or inflamed skin, which is more likely to bleed during or after sex. And therefore, in addition to specific treatments like steroid cream, we would ask you to avoid fragrance soaps, fragrance creams, deodorants, and other potential triggers. So this next treatment is specifically for cervical polyps, which are another cause of bleeding after sex. Cervical polyps are fleshy pieces of tissue that grow from the inner part of the cervix, which is the neck of the womb, or from the womb itself, and it's pushing into the vaginal canal. This tissue is especially sensitive, so with even light contact, for example, during a physical examination, there might be bleeding. So you can expect that there will be bleeding after sex with the cervical polyp. So why do polyps develop? Well, they are thought to happen due to chronic inflammation or the body's response to hormone stimulation and they most often appear in women around or after menopause. But the good thing is that cervical polyps are usually relatively small and frequently can be removed manually doing a pelvic examination in the clinic when the doctor can just twist off the tissue using a pair of forceps and then stop any bleeding that happens. If the polyps are larger than you can treat in the clinic, they can be removed during a colposcopy while looking directly at the cervix and then burning away the polyp with laser or heat treatment. A piece of the polyp is always sent off to the lab to check that the tissue is benign as expected because in very rare cases, there is a small risk of cancer. The fifth treatment is freezing or heat therapy to the cervix. We've just talked a little about this when discussing polyp treatment, but there is another condition where heat therapy or freezing therapy is commonly used, and this is called a cervical ectropion. It's a condition that's very common in young women, especially soon after just beginning the periods, if you're pregnant and using the combined birth control pill. Now, it's clearly as a result of hormone imbalance or changes that happen during these conditions I just mentioned. But what is commonly experienced is bleeding after sex. There may be a vaginal discharge, although some women tend to have no symptoms. To make a diagnosis, the doctor only needs to see the change on the cervix during a pelvic examination. And what is actually going on is a physiological change. And what it means is that a little part of the inner lining of the cervix travels outwards. And what we see is a reddish circle around the os, or opening into the cervix where normally we wouldn't see anything apart from the usual color of the cervix. If the cervical ectropion is not giving you any problems or if you're pregnant, the usual play is to do nothing about it. But in other cases, applying cold or heat laser treatment around the os is sufficient to treat this condition. Number six, and of course this conversation would hardly be complete without discussing cancer treatments. As I mentioned at the beginning, as I mentioned at the beginning, the biggest reason we want to examine a woman with post bleeding is because of cancer risk. In a study of over 300 women, about one fifth of them with bleeding after sex had either early or invasive cancer and this makes bleeding after sex an important symptom to follow up on if it's present. Thankfully screening and vaccination are helping to reduce the number of cervical cancer cases being diagnosed. However there's still a large number of cancer cases being detected every year. So treatment will be under the care of a specialist. It depends on the stage whether it's pre-cancer or very early or advanced and late stage. It could involve removal of the abnormal cells radiotherapy, chemotherapy, and surgery. The seventh treatment for us to talk about today is vaginal repair. Now, sometimes bleeding after sex happens because there was an injury to the vagina, and I'm referring at this point to consensual sexual activity. A study revealed this to be the case in just over 30% of women aged 19 to 44 years. And in this case, if it is vaginal trauma from consensual sexual activity, surgery will be necessary to repair the damaged tissue. And now the last treatment I want to talk about in this video might surprise you because it's nothing, no treatment. Because as high as 50% of women who get bleeding after sex, they'll have all the tests and investigations done and the doctors find nothing abnormal. But the thing is, the majority of these women will have their symptoms ultimately settled by six months. So regular monitoring is important, having tests done is important, even though there is no treatment or active treatment provided. But what's been your experience with bleeding after sex? What treatment did you have? If you wish, 
please share in the comment section below. You can ask questions or reach out to me via my email health information service, link in the description box. Give this video a like and please help somebody else by sharing this video with your network. Check out more videos on vaginal health issues in my playlist here. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon.